your first alert weather. Dominus Brown in for Scott tonight. Tracking what we can expect. We had those storms roll through yesterday, yeah. Dominus, and some rain in other parts of the area, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do have some showers and storms right now in the area. And as we look ahead in the forecast, we are tracking some isolated thunderstorms tomorrow, even for Wednesday, then some drought high conditions by the end of the week. Now, here's a look at first alert radar. You'll notice that we do have some scattered rain in the area and a couple thunderstorms. First stop here areas in Tarrant County. You'll also see for Johnson County along 35W. These are just mainly showers that we're tracking. These are also popping up in parts of Parker County south of I-20. This is a the strongest one that I'm tracking over toward Palo Pinto County, north of I-20, and also some in portions of, yep, you'll see it right there for Hood County. And so you'll see as we zoom in, you'll see a few roads there along 20 and a few communities as well toward Gordon and even County Road 135, seeing some very heavy rain. Can't rule out a little hail out of that one too. All generally moving to the south. This one here and parts of even, well, you'll see it right there. Jack County has mainly rained itself out, but we're going to keep an opportunity for a couple showers in the forecast as we go this this evening around the Metroplex. Even the models are saying that we could see a few showers drifting in. You'll see this in here. Look at the clock there at the top of the screen on Futurecast. Some of these showers might try to move a bit closer to even yeah, Fort Worth, maybe toward Dallas as we go through the overnight. Then as we go through tomorrow morning, let's have the rain gear handy just in case as we're heading out to work and school. There could be a few showers around. There goes the afternoon. Not a complete wash, but some pop up showers and storms to the east there as we head through the afternoon and even toward our Wednesday, not a washout, but early on some showers to the east and we'll call that rain chance about 10 to 20% as we go through the day. Upper level low, though, moving to the east later in the week. This flow pattern around that low will give us some drier conditions. That means we won't be dealing with a lot of wet weather by Thursday, Friday into the weekend. That's great news for a weekend forecast. Tomorrow morning, though, you'll see temperatures likely in the 70s, mostly clear to partly cloudy skies. By the afternoon, temperatures in the 90s under a mix of sun and clouds. And if you're going to be doing any running tomorrow, early in the day, 75, noon temperatures at 86. On the first alert seven day, yeah, we have the 90s. They're sticking around a little bit, but the rain won't stick around, so say goodbye to it, especially past Wednesday. And even for Wednesday, most of those showers will likely be east. You'll see the rest of the seven day there with 92s for highs Friday and Saturday, and about 91 degrees for your Sunday.